Um, I mean, you, you went through a lot. Growing up, you had to do all sort of menial jobs. You know, you had to sell oranges, you had to sell newspapers. You did a lot of things. And I mean, today, glory be to God, you've made it. Sometimes you put on your captions that if you know where we are coming from, you won't wish us bad. Uh, wh wh why do you make this kind of caption? I actually saw this caption on, I think on, uh, on Instagram. And then I, it's a long time, I think in, I think 20, 2020 or 2019, something like that. Then when I read this, I had some, some goosebumps all over me, like, because I could relate to this, to this caption and I needed to get a picture to, to, <laughs> to back it up. So, so I, I took a picture on a, on a, on a yacht and um, I posted it. So. So I, I pinned it on my on my um, Twitter account so that when you come on my page to try to stroll me or to try to say some sort of sorry to say this but some hating words you would know that when I'm gonna reply you it's gonna be crazy and if I choose to ignore it's just that I don't have your time so but of course I put it there to to know that. There are a lot of people that came out from the from the gutter yeah. that really strive so hard to to earn a living for themselves, and that those that actually work legitly, when they read this caption, they could relate with me that yes, I understand what this guy is coming from, and of course some um, some people don't don't know what you what you what you've been through or what you're going through. They just see that you post something and they they wake up and see that oh. Or you think you're happy, or you think you're this. Let me make him hungry. Let me let me hate on him, yes. and they're trying to say some some kind of word to to hate on to hate on the on the individual that is actually striving for greatness. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. So for me, I choose to ignore a lot, but when it comes to my head, I just give give it to them. I don't want it, but of course, when they hate on me or something like that, I've I've got. Millions of people that love me, genuinely, people that didn't know me from from Adam, but they saw that they saw me through football, and they pick they pick the the love side instead of the hate. They try to motivate me. These people are the ones that I hold close to my heart, even though I don't know them. Lord seizes me. I put them every time in my prayer that the people wishing me well, God should always meet them at the point of their knees. I don't know them. A lot of people put me in their prayers, also a lot of people look up to me you know as well as those that actually wants to see me fall but of course you know these things we either bring you down or motivate you but i choose to pick the love side to take me to where i actually have dreamed for myself you understand but of course um, it's never the same because i've got a strong heart these things don't move me this hate don't move me this backlash don't actually move me i do not care because I believe in my own ability and when things don't go my way I just I just hope on God and, and, and keep it moving because of course my struggle builds my character and teach me the and teach me the teach me the right frame of mind to remain to remain humble and, and never give up. I mean just taking it from there, you, you have become a social media sensation because of the very hilarious post you put out there. Um, well where did this come from? <laughs> you know the people that are actually that are closest to me you know know that i'm actually i will not consider myself like funny because my friends <laughs> my friends are actually funnier than me it's, it's amazing so i like being around them anytime i'm back home i like being around them but i've been doing this but it's just on the low so i decided to to share my other side aside from football my other side my personality my other side so i'll be like okay let me just let me just do it so because aside from that depression is real of course people are going through so many things you know sorry to say these people are taking their life you know society and all like that and i feel that most of most of them most of them get healed by some sort of funny things some sort of motivational things on the gram on twitter something like that you know you could some of them will go to for example 
uh, Sabinus Page, just to laugh their sorry away. Some of them will go to to Basket Mouth, to Bovi, you know, to 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 a lot to a lot of them. That's why I've got so many. I've got so many um, so many uh, comedians that I follow, that I've met in real life, that I've connected with, you know, because I could remember 2020 when I had my nerves injury on my right right shoulder when I had COVID, it was really a tough time for me. You understand? I was alone. My family were far away from me, and it was tough. You understand? So when I I was on, I was going through Instagram Explore when I saw a memes page, you know, I had to say this, but a big shout out to um, um, Tola and name is Tola memes by Tola, you know, big shout out to Tola. So I went on her page, I saw uh, what she was posting. It was very hilarious. I took a screenshot, and um, since then it's been <laughs> it's been amazing all through. So. I used to see a lot also, some of them tag me, I go to their page, I see some funny things, I take a screenshot, I post it on my, after my, my picture comes first, and I post the rest of the memes, then the video, the last, because I felt this is, these memes are really, for me, it's very funny, and as a Nigerian, you can actually relate to a lot of, a lot of things, and um, some of the Italians would text me and say oh what you mean i want to relate with your with your memes and all i want to i said oh it's kind of nigerian style and all like that so that's why i used to tag them because i need to give them credit because it's not easy and i get to meet a few of them in real life you get so i feel like i need to be me you understand doing these funny things is what I actually like most because my life is simple. Yes, correct. My life is like this. I like I love to laugh, yeah. but I can be so serious at times that I can be mean sometimes. You understand? This is life. But my way of life is I go. I respect everyone. I fear no one. I give respect to everyone. Then I I do my thing. This is my thing. On the pitch is business. Strictly business. The training ground strictly business when i'm out of that is a whole new me like i just want to live life enjoy and just be happy because life is too short apparently you know and i just with the time i have now i just want to keep on laughing keep on living keep on making money and of course keep the ones that i love so much close to my heart and just keep on balling Okay, final question, Victor. Looking at where you are coming from, all you went through, now you are up there playing for perhaps the biggest club in the world, one of the biggest in the world, one of the biggest in Italy, earning top dollars. Uh, do you feel like you surpassed your target as, as a young person, as a footballer? <laughs> uh, for me, 100%, like, not even 100%, 1001%, because I set a standard for myself, the kind of life I want to live, you understand? Even when things were not going so well for me, I kept on believing, kept on dreaming, kept on praying, working hard, doing all sort of job before I went back to my real love, which is football. And um, to get to where I am today, there have been a whole lot of obstacles. A whole lot of hate, the love, the backstab, um, so many things. You know, I attribute my success to to like I don't know how to really put in the right word, but my success come with love, pain, a lot of tears, a lot of failures, and all like that. You know, and actually, some people set a standard for my for me that oh he's gonna be there when he's there he's gonna we give him we give him two 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 years two seasons oh he's they're loaning him out they rejected him in, in in belgium two clubs rejected him in belgium oh he cannot do this one he cannot do that one they compare me with the past yes. players you know i don't want to mention names but i saw those things i'm human 
you know, football as a human also. So for me, I'd rather take it the way they say it or approve them absolutely wrong. And God's so good, I proved them wrong. You understand? I'm play, playing in one of the biggest clubs in Europe, one of the best leagues in Europe. I have been nominated for the Youth Player of the Year. I have won so many personal um, personal awards for myself, which I felt like is a huge milestone for me because considering the fact that I've gone through a lot of life-threatening injuries, I came back, I smashed it, and I've been doing quite well for myself. That's why every day I wake up is just thank you, God. Thank you so much, you know, thank you for everything because if I could have, if I could have not gotten to where I am today, I would have given a lot of people the kind of um, words to, to talk about me, to talk down on me, about my career, about how, how I started. So it's like I'm on 100 and they are on zero because I've actually won in life and I'm winning against all odds and I won against people that actually written me off or wish me bad in my in my journey but of course i'm i'm so grateful to god for for where i am today and uh, i don't think he's done with me yet you keep going thank you all the best thank you, thank you.